G'day, this is Captain Fade Transition, and this is the AA-12. This is a highly customizable standalone shotgun complete with animations. Now, the AA-12 in and of itself is a pretty iconic and recognizable weapon. It is characterized by its uh, ease of use. It basically has zero recoil, so a child can use this thing. I'm sure we've all seen FPS Russia hold this thing in one hand and shoot it off, and that was pretty cool. Anyways, we'll get into these attachments. First of all, for the receivers, basically you're going to get the same sort of things out of this as the combat shotgun with um, the addition of the special receivers, which um, are quite interesting actually because um, their explanation or description in broken English, it says obtained at level 58 when the power of your enemy does not increase in proportion to your weapons, I suppose. So yeah, this um, mod acknowledges that enemies get super tanky at late levels and for that reason adds even more receivers so you can actually um, stay with them, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, for the barrels, we can chuck on a long pointed barrel for the best accuracy and range, which is going to be useful for a shotgun. Generally, you want to squeeze as much range as you can as possible and for the stocks we can have the recoil reducing stock or a marksman stock and I suppose this one has got the best recoil reduction on it as you can tell it's got a little med pack there some shells and a nice little angled grip there so it's nice and tactical I guess now for the magazines you can go ahead and chuck on a giant ass drum magazine there which is highly um yeah I recommend this one because you'll be getting through your shells pretty quickly although if you really like the animation the small eject magazine is a good one for seeing them all over again now you can have sights on this which um you know what we'll leave these sights as they are but we'll keep we'll keep this as glowy iron sights you can have a reflex sight a scope on it if you really want to which actually if you had this on a semi-auto platform should work with the sniper perk, so yeah, that's a little, that'd probably be extremely devastating. You've got even more scopes and ACOG, which actually looks pretty neat, and I'm pretty sure there is an EOTech there. Yes, we'll resist that for now, but we'll probably chuck that on a different one. Now, for the muzzles, you can have a muzzle brake compensator, a bayonet if you feel like it, and a suppressor, but um, since suppressors don't usually mix well on shotguns and people don't like it, I'm gonna leave this one on the muzzle brake there. I think that'll be fine. Next up, we can have a shell conversion. We can have this fire either 12 gauge slugs or just the regular buckshot rounds, and uh, they don't actually change the ammo you're firing, so you don't have to worry about that. But this one would fire that just one projectile, but you get a little bit better damage out of it, which is interesting. We'll leave that on the buckshot for now. Now, you can actually add add ons into this thing, which actually add legendary effects. So the laser sight adds a nimble effect. This one adds the nocturnal effect, which is pretty freaking useless if you ask me. But if you have both of them, you get the staggering effect, which um, is probably particularly devastating on a scattershot shotgun. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. And of course, you can change the look of this thing with its camos, which is great. We'll go for an urban camo there. Why not? Also, these uh, uh, have different sort of... Um, Attach points, but they're the same thing. Interesting, that might just be a little bit of a glitch in the old creation kit uh, build there. But you know what? This is fine. We've also got the, an access to legendary effects if we want, courtesy of our legendary modification, I'm sure. But that is our AA-12. We'll make another one with slugs, and we'll go ahead and shoot people. Righto, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza, and this is our AA-12, that's the reload, just so we can get that shown off off the bat, and this is what this looks like in first person, got the glowies there, looks pretty good, and in third person, this thing looks equally impressive there, the animations line up pretty nicely, nothing to complain about there, so before we get into all these gunners, we're going to be running at them in daylight hours, everyone's was going to be shooting at us at once, and we're a raider, so you know what, it's time to take some cams, I think. Okay, just some buff out and some psycho. We should probably have enough of uh, damage to uh, help us through here. So we'll just go ahead and try to avoid all of the fire we can just by standing in areas where the most of them can't shoot us. So, so far, so good. As you can tell, this thing is utterly devastating up close like you'd expect a shotgun to be. It also has basically no recoil to it. And we've got plenty of rounds in its giant drum to shoot people with, which is great. So we'll go ahead and just hide behind this cover and then peek out and shoot people. There we go, looking through the sights there is a little bit um crazy when it comes to shooting because the animation of this weapon kicking up as you fire it pretty much obscures your view, so hit firing this thing is probably the way to go. Okay, so instead of being shot at whilst reloading, we'll just quickly pop a reload whilst in uh, vats there just to make sure we don't get hit as much. 
And yeah, so the reload on this is a little bit slower than, actually, you know, it's about the same as you'd get on a combat shotgun, so nothing to complain about there. We're almost in the uh, realm of nerd rage at this point. As you can tell, we're pretty much staggering anyone we're shooting at, which is great. The staggering effect is doing well for us now. And okay, we've gone over to nerd rage, and we'll switch over to our slug one with the EOTech sight on it. And yeah, we're doing pretty good damage there. If we get headshots, we're hitting about 1k damage. And I think we've come over that 20% health threshold there. So we'll be able to do that again in just a second. Okay, so we've got a bunch of people coming through here. It's a little bit hard to run and gun with, with a shotgun here without trying to take all the skip packs in the world when it comes to these gunners. Because as you can tell there, you can get shot up and killed very fast there. But we're going into nerd rage again. And since this guy is actually taking a fair chunk out of my health by every shot there, I think we'll kill him. I think I just saw Curie's health uh, perk kick in there. Thank you, Curie, for doing that. That is uh, surely a massive help. All right, we'll quickly finish off that gunner there and get these people across here. Get to extend this thing's range a little bit more with the slugs, but it's not really too much to actually make this thing more effective. I'd rather use any sort of uh, rifle at this range there, although it's certainly a nice option if you want to make this thing more of a long-range weapon. As you can tell, this thing isn't quite as accurate as you'd expect there, and wow, it suffers from terrible range too. Don't even bother using this thing back over range. Okay, so what have we got left? Just this kind of brigadier here. And I think we've leveled up there, so there we go, another one of the health bar. And yep, that's about the spectacular death that I want to see. If I got shot by an AA-12, see if we can pull that off again. Okay, we didn't do it that time, but um, we certainly got in with the follow-up shot, so... Ooh, there's a crate there. Uh, immersive Gunners Plaza is great. Anyway, so a quick... Ooh, hang on. Someone else has got an AA-12. Oh, we'll get to you later, mate. We'll get to you later. But anyways, yeah, this thing is holding up pretty well. We're able to solo this place pretty damn quickly. Probably quicker than we did with the pistol yesterday with all of the sneak attack crit spamming, which is great. And we're in the middle of the day too, so we don't have to rely on stealth. And Wow, okay, that's the second time that's happened. Yeah, we don't have to rely on stealth to actually make this thing worthwhile, which is great. This is definitely a weapon made for the high tier end game. Very hard gameplay. Okay, what have we got down here? A couple of stragglers. You know what? This is probably a good time to rust out the uh, slug throwing one. He's got a suppressor on his. What a heathen. And another one there. All right, we'll kill him nice and quickly. We'll go for a crit there. Almost got him in one. We'll quickly follow it up with another one because Vats likes to take long pauses when it comes to taking shots and criticals. All right, so we'll just go ahead and breach this like an old professional military person would. I'm pretty sure this is what they do. They just stand in the doorway with a shotgun. That's and I'm being sarcastic there. Don't all you Americans go mad at me for um, saying things that are wrong about military and guns and stuff. Also, what are you shooting at? I think there's another random encounter that spawned here. This is probably the worst. Is that a laser musket? I think I just heard a laser musket go off. Yeah, this is the last place you want to be if you're a Miniman. In fact, I'd rather be in um, the middle of Quincy when the whole gunner thing was going down than being caught in the middle of here, because at least, you know, you've got some sort of support there. Also, I think these two gunners are through a wall. No? Oh, wait, no, there they are. Never mind. Okay, we'll just quickly finish these guys off as easy as that. I should have probably put the um, stock on this thing with the uh, grip that makes the recoil uh, non-existent because it's a little bit annoying trying to control the recoil on the slug version when you need to be a little bit more accurate. So, yeah, that's interesting. But there you have it. That was the AA-12 there. And going in guns blazing, this thing can do pretty well. We've got a scoped one here, hopefully to work with the sniper perk. We'll see. Okay, so here we are in Lagers Plaza, and we'll go ahead and start shooting people. No choi uh, choice in uh, sneak mode here, because this is a very loud shotgun, and looks like they've built the turrets again. Oh god, it's laggy. I think all of the NPCs that do spawn when you enter this place really slows it down, so I'm not too keen on the whole Gunners Plaza immersiveness on the inside here. It seems to be too much of a cut down on performance, so yeah, probably won't stick around with this one for too long. I think Captain Bridget in there is good enough, but as you can tell here, yeah, this thing is going to be devastating. Right, time to aim at people, see if we can knock them down with any of those uh, 
Yep, we can. Okay, knowing that, we're pretty much safe to just shoot people from ages away here, and they'll be fine. Okay. Oh, you've got a, some sort of shotgun there that I probably am going to use later. Was that a payday shotgun? Possibly. Alright, so down you go. I don't want you to see you back up. You're going to die. There. <laughs> nice little... Oh, hang on. I'm going to leave you alone. You're just a crappy vanilla gunner. Okay, so I'm going to explain how this works again, because why not? So basically, with the sniper perk, um, you get a chance to knock down your enemies, depending on whether your weapon is semi-auto and scope. So if it is, yeah, you get a chance to knock down enemies. I think it's like a base chance of 15 or something. And since shotguns fire multiple projectiles per shot, and okay, I found all the, I found why all the lagging happening. There's just heaps of shit in here. Heaps of physics objects that are crashing into each other, making the computer think about them rather than what I'm doing and okay that's really fucking annoying I want to get to the bottom of that see there's just an abundance of trash cans in here what the fuck is this and it's moving on its own whatever this whole thing is screwed up yes but basically with the shotguns you have multiple projectiles and thus multiple chance to proc that knockdown chance so it's basically a guaranteed knockdown because it's shooting about seven or so projectiles, eight if you're using advanced receivers. So if you're aiming down sights, you can pretty much uh, knack at these guys as easy as possible. Although some creatures and enemies are immune to this knockdown effect, such as turrets, because they're planted anyway, they probably wouldn't be affected by it too much anyways. Okay, so now we're getting right into the crux of things now because there's going to be a whole lot of gunners just flooding through this doorway. So to that end, we'll just go ahead and keep them all knocked down here as we just keep on shooting. Now this would probably be a lot easier if I didn't have these stupid turret corpses in the way to um, keep blocking all of the buckshot things before they, or the pallets before they get to their intended targets, but that's the price I pay for turning gore off there. There's just going to be a giant arc pile of corpses there soon, it's going to be great. It probably won't smell too great mine. Okay, so now you're down. You know what, we'll finish you off because you're alone. There you go. And you're going down next. Just got to quickly finish him off. Now, despite this being semi-auto, I am basically firing it as fast as you would with an automatic version, which is great. So that it not only does it do a little bit more damage, if you've got a quick trigger finger, you can actually outpace how, this, how, how fast this thing fires in its automatic uh, way anyways also. He, yes, he knocked down. He got knocked down for a second, and it looks like I've missed one. I'm not as thorough as I thought I was. Don't worry, I will rectify this little insolent gunner right now. Where are you, mate? You're dead. Get some. Okay. What? Why? Why is there just a bunch of shit under here? This is probably why it's lagging so much. I've just clipped under the map, and all of this shit is here for no well-explained reason. So, um, Immersive Gunners Plaza, you've got some shit to explain here. And as you see, all of these physics objects are sort of uh, moved and um, all sort of gathered here. They've moved up in the map. That's that's weird. I don't like this. Okay, and Gunners Plaza Interior, it's coming out. No more. Hope you've enjoyed it because there won't be any more of this. Anyways, that is it for the AA-12 in Gunners Plaza and the Immersive Gunners Plaza, blah, blah, blah. It's a pretty good weapon. I don't think I need to speak too much for it. This thing kind of speaks for itself. Okay, we'll move on to something else. Okay, knowing the power of this thing, we might as well go ahead and quickly kill the Wendigo here. And then I think I'll call it a video, so down you go, Mr. Cool, hopefully. And then we can just keep on shooting at him and keeping you nice and ragdolled. Hopefully uh, he doesn't get up during our reload. We can finish him off very, very easily. So this thing is definitely packing all the power on the world. You'll never need to even look at the combat shotgun of the vanilla game again because this thing is going to be the only shotgun you'll ever need. So there you have it. That was the AA-12 and that's its bashing animations before I forget. That's very good. Good job, Ward Daddy, you make good animations and stuff. So, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, be sure to pay for it because it's on that bloody Fallout 4 fan club site, but, um, I didn't get it that way. Link will be in the description to how I got it. This is PC only, though, so make sure you bring all of your proxies with you because if they find out they 
you've taken it. The Russian hackers will get to you like they've gotten to me. There's someone knocking on my door. I think it's the Russian hackers. They're, they're gonna kill me. Goodbye.